effective keyword optimization boosts your Amazon product rankings and helps you to reach more customers on Amazon. In this video, you will discover how to streamline your keyword research using Data Dive, making it easier to find top performing keywords to boost your listings. If you want to try Data Dive for yourself, find a special offer and uh, the link in the video description. Keyword research is a critical part of SEO and finding the right keywords can make or break your content strategy. Whether you are a beginner or an advanced researcher, DataDive makes the process incredibly easy, offering a user-friendly yet powerful tool to help you discover the best keywords for your niche. With DataDive, you can uncover valuable insights quickly, just like the professionals do. The platform streamlines the keyword discovery process with advanced features, smart suggestions, and deep data analysis that typically requires advanced SEO knowledge. By simply entering a seed keyword or phrase, you can identify high-impact keywords, assess competition, and optimize your content effectively. Whether you're looking to boost your search ranking or refine your content strategy with your product listings, DataDive allows you to execute professional-level keyword research without the need for extensive SEO expertise. Hi, my name is Nikki and I'm from Orange Click. And in this video, we will explore how you can make the most out of your data dive to get the best keywords and improve your product listing rankings. So let's dive right into it. We can start our dive sessions two ways. So the first one is to do it in the Amazon search bar where we will type in our hero keyword, which is the glow in the dark blanket. The benefit of doing this method is that you will be able to see right away in detail what are those products that are competing in the first page of your hero keyword. That means that they are ranking in the top 30. What you would do next is to add your competitors, the top ones, into your trade. So be careful not to add those products that are sponsored or being driven by people. PC. That's why they are appearing here. We only want to choose those products that are organically ranking using the best keywords. That's why they are in this page one result. So what we want to harvest are those keywords that they are using that is making them successfully sustain their organic rankings. What we are going to do is to add ASINs to our train. And our aim here is to add as many as 15 ASINs. So I can see here right away, these are the type of products that I want to add to my train, especially those that are for boys. So I'm setting a niche that I will be providing a product, Glow in the Dark Blanket, that is for boys. So right now I'm going to add these products to my train, taking into consideration as well the price point. So right here is another carousel of sponsored products. So I'm not going to be choosing that. So right now we have nine ASINs into our ASIN train. All right. So right now we added 18 in our train. What I'm going to do next is to click this ASIN train and select a niche wherein I can create a new niche name for my dive session, which will help me refer back later if I'm going to check what type of keyword research did I gather all of these ASINs. I'm going to put the hero keyword, which is the glow in the dark blanket ASIN train method, and then I will click dive. Then all of these ASINs will be included in my dive session right away. Another method that we can use is to open the dive box here. So what the dive box will show you is a very data pack overview of the whole niche that you have selected, which the hero keyword would be glow in the dark blanket. So we can see here that for the total competitors that we have here, the search volume for this keyword phrase is at 14,687 with a total revenue of 1,580,480. And an estimated monthly sales of 89,104, which we can see that the median sales is at 924 units per month and a median price of $16.98. Uh, what's nice about this is the median reviews across all the competitors is under 500. And we can see as well how much is the fulfillment fee, the average or median bestseller rank of our top competitors, what type of fulfillment does this seller provide, FBA, FBM, and the 
countries that the sellers are coming from. So we can see here 41 of which are coming from China, 5 from US, 1 from Korea, and 1 from Amazon. Now here, you can also see the products that you want to be added to your dive session. The default is the sponsored products are already hidden. So I'll just toggle it back to hide sponsored products. And now I'm going to check one by one here which of these ASINs here would be my top competitors. What I will do next is I would be checking one by one with the pop-up of the product images here which of the top ASIN competitors will I be selecting. Same as the first method, I'm going to choose those blankets that are targeted to the boy gender or so I would be choosing this one to be added to my dive session as well as this one. Taking into consideration again the price point and the closeness of these ASINs to my offered product. Let's say that this ASIN is my product. So it's a boys blanket, glow in the dark blanket. And right now I'm going to choose those blankets that are looking most likely the same. So of course I will not be including those blankets that are offering for girls. Alright, so again, my minimum target of selecting my top competitors would be 15. And I wouldn't be selecting those products as well that doesn't have the same size and probably the same color. So ours is gray. So we would be choosing more or less black and gray products. By the way, the selection process of getting the top competitors would be also based on the highest revenue that this ASIN was able to gain. The reason behind this is because we really want to get those best keywords that are driving the most sales for our top competitors. That's why we are choosing them based on this criteria as well. Now, in this niche, I can create a new niche name, which is also in the method that I was able to gather the keywords, which is through dive box is revenue. Okay, now let's go to the, the results of the dive session for our glow in the dark blanket using the 19 ASINs that we have selected a while ago. What's nice about Data Dive's master keyword list is you will be able to see visually right away that which of the competitors are very strong, strong, weak, and very weak in terms of the strength of the keywords which they are ranking successfully on the page 1 or top 30. We can also see some other metrics here which is the rating or review count as well as the sales per month and mainly here is the keywords on page 1. So let's find out where is our product ASIN here and let's spin it here. So our ASIN actually is a very strong competitor in which on the search volume on page 1 share of voice, we have 241 search volume, 241,088 search volume in total, which is 81% of the keywords that are in page 1. Next that we are going to see is the keywords on page 1, which we are ranking 73% across the keywords or search term that Datadive was able to gather. But then again, Again, we want to see that the other very strong competitors ranking more on the first page across these keywords which we would like to surpass or improve on. In this metric alone, we can see that there are things that we need to improve and what we can do is to look at the keyword gaps in the master keyword list and try to find out what are those best keywords that our competitors are using right now that drives them more sales. Now in this column, we can see the the search volume metric and the relevancy. How we will harvest those best keywords? Before we pinpoint the keyword gaps, we would like to first deselect or remove from our master keyword list the branded keywords. So with one click right here on this blue button that says B, we can exclude brand keywords from the master keyword list without looking it manually. So Data Dive was able to save us some time and remove those brand keywords right away from the master keyword list and we are one step closer to cleaning up our keyword lists and right away get our best keywords. Now remember that we have selected 19 ASINs and I want to see 40% of those ASINs that are ranking in the top 30. Ultimately, the relevancy score that I would like to check here starts from 40 and above. Okay, right now we can see here those keywords that are Obviously, most of the competitors are ranking 
at the top 30. Some which has the very weak score here means that they are even ranking outside of the top 45 or not ranking at all as you can see here so time to look at the keyword gaps that our asin might not be ranking at the top 30 and what i will do next is to filter my search volume from the highest to lowest and then now i'm going to check which of those keywords i'm not ranking within the top five and so this one so this is not a dinosaur blanket so for this one we need to improve on our rankings here it has an 8451 search volume with 47 percent relevancy this is a very broad keyword phrase but still packs a very good search volume so i would work on adding that to the listing to get more recognized as well as kids blanket for boys all right so we are ranking outside of the top 45, which is green. That is why we need to work on adding that to the listing in order to rank high, as well as this one, blankets for boys, which were also ranking low and both have more than 3000 search volume in higher than 50% relevancy, which is another significant metric that tells us that this is another very good keyword to add into our listing to optimize in order to get indexed by Amazon as well as this one in the plural form. We can also see that we can work on our ranking for kids blankets and throws which is still relevant to our product and even the Spanish words for our glow in the dark blanket. So blanket for boys as well we are also ranking very low on this as well as kids blankets for boys and boys blankets for kids. So going to the other method, which is the glow in the dark using the dive box with the highest revenue, we can see here that with these 15 ASIN competitors, and we have already pinned our product here, and we can see that not much of these competitors are very strong. So zero, as we can see here, six are strong, including our product three weak competitors and six very weak competitors. It tells us that even though these competitors are earning a lot of revenue, they are yet to optimize as well their listings and rank on the search terms that Datadive was able to gather here. And that is a big opportunity for us. Looking at the keywords on the page one percentage, we have one of the highest percentage of keywords usage on our listings. Again, we will not not rest here on the 62% because this indicates a lot of room for improvement. So this means that if we can include or rank high on the keywords that are here, we can gain more sales, rank high on this and get indexed from Amazon. So what we can do is to identify the keyword gaps from, from this master keyword list by filtering our relevancy to greater than or equal to 40%. It really saves us time and makes the keyword research process less intimidating. And you can also exclude names. If you already know the brands on your niche that are already very big, then you can type those brand names here that will be excluded from the list right away. That's how easy it is to use Datadive's keyword research tools. And again, I will be sorting the sales volume of these keywords from the highest to lowest. And now I I will be checking the keyword gaps that I need to improve on my listing. For example, glow in the dark blankets for boys. We are doing very well because we're ranking top one on this one. So I will again check those keywords that are falling out of top five or top 10 and work my way up from there. So I can see here that our product is ranking top 79 for kids blanket for boys. So I would take a note of that. It has a relevancy score of 67% and a search volume of 3,833. So we need to rank higher on this keyword phrase in order to drive more sales because 67% of our top competitors are successfully ranking on this. When you are in the first page of this keyword phrase, then you will have the most opportunity for impressions, clicks, and conversion as well. So that's what we are trying to 
to do here. Either you will be able to choose just these keyword gaps that you would like to add to your product listing keyword optimization process, or you can go and export this data in a CSV file or Excel file and further process it from there. But Ultimately, with this filter alone, you have gotten 152 unique keywords that you can use to boost your rankings and be able to integrate into your product listing optimization and aim to rank higher. Um, I do not recommend to use all of these 152 keywords. I would recommend to choose the most relevant of all. Probably if you are going to run a PPC campaign, just choose the best 50 keywords. Again, based on the keywords here that you you would like to increase your keyword ranking organically and I wouldn't recommend to add those keywords even though the relevancy is high but doesn't necessarily describe your product. So again today we have shown you how to get the best keywords using two methods of doing doing dive session from data dive. We use the add in the tray to be able to add ASINs that you think are at par with each other that is belonging to the same niche that you are currently offering. And as well as another tip is if ever you are selling a very niche product and you want to broaden your keyword research or it means that you are discovering new keywords to add into your listings, you can branch out or broaden your search by checking out the other subcategories here, which is kids throw blankets or kids bed blankets. You can check out and add those for example, this one, bed throws and blankets. And what you can do is to simply add them to your ASIN tray if you haven't yet. So in that way, you are gathering another top competitors in the subcategory, which is still very relevant to your product, which helps you discover more relevant keywords and be able to see if you have already indexed in the product or another chance of improvement included in your listings. And that will give you a higher chances of converting. So many ways ways to get the top competitors, so many ways to discover those best keywords using DataDive's intricately made keyword research tool. Do keyword research like the pros or the professionals do without being intimidated by the fact that there are a lot of data here. But this one is very organized and visually you can see right away which are the metrics that you would like to examine and the determining factors in which you will be able to select your keywords to optimize further. If you haven't tried Data Dive yet, you can definitely try out this product as it can really help you find those best keywords from your top competitors and in the niche that you are trying to provide your products. By simply using our discount code that you will be able to find in the description of this video below. Keyword research has been conveniently made easy for us, Amazon sellers, making it easier for you to interpret data, eradicating the confusion on which metrics to focus, and saves you more time on focusing right away on the data that is presented to you with regards to the relevancy and the amount of search volume that DataDive was able to gather if you have found our videos, help, don't forget to send in good vibes in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's Orange. Click to know the latest features of Data Dive and how to properly utilize the tools and based on the strategies that we will be sharing with you in this channel. Orange Click also provides up-to-date tutorials on the up-and-coming Amazon seller tools that will help you achieve your business goals today. Again, this is Nikki from Orange Click. Thanks for watching. I hope this video will help you to find the best performing keywords to implement in your Amazon listing. If you want to try Data Dive for this help, you will find the special 20% discount in the video description. Also, the link where you can click and sign up for this software. And if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you hit like and subscribe buttons below this video. And now I recommend you to watch more videos on how to use niche compare feature by DataDive to improve your rankings. So check this out.